contemporary Nepali movies tend to focus basically on the specific genres like love stories, comedy and action. Few movies are made with a focus on other genres from previously discussed like horror, suspense and thriller. Our filmmakers need to know that there are plethora of promising genres that we can rely on with which we can make good and successful movies like sports drama, science fiction, dark comedy and biopics. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the biopics. Biographical movies are the one genre of movies which could have a profound and larger impact on box office as well as on the masses. As we can see from the previous success of Hollywood movies like The Aviator, Imitation Game, Into the Wild, The Social Network, Jobs, Bohemian Rhapsody and the latest Rocketman, which not only places the importance of those particular people and their contribution towards their country, but also help to shed and give away many insights on certain characteristics, traits and an environment which influenced these people to make their mark in the history. We can learn many valuable life lessons from these biographical movies. Even Bollywood movies are embracing this change and focusing on this genre with movies like Dangal, Park Milka Park, Mary Comb, Gandhi, MS Tony, Dirty Picture, Nirja, Pan Singh Tomar, Manto, Thakre, and the list goes on and on and on. There are many biographical movies which have been announced already shooting and are on post and pre-productions like 83, Saina, Gunjan Saxena, The Kargil Girl and Shakuntala Devi. So why are we as a Nepali movie industry missing out on this genre? Saying that there have been many previous attempts with movies like Satya Harish Chandra, Adikavi Bhanu Bhakta, Acharya, Blind Rocks, Bobby and the latest movie Jeevan Kara Ki Phool, which is not just enough with knowledge of the long history of our movie industry and only 5 to 6 movies are made as a biopic. We are not seeing any research and investment to make movies on this genre. However, there are a few promising upcoming movies like Dipendra Sarkar and Rudani which have been teased years back and still these movies are nowhere to be made or released. Dipendra Sarkar stars Pradeep Kharkai as the lead role and is set to depict the ups and downs of our late king Dipendra and the first look of movie was released way before with a press conference which looked promising. The other upcoming biopic movie, Rudani, on the other side focuses on the Rupchandra Bista aka Rudani's life, a politician, a visionary, a pioneer and a revolutionary who brought the philosophy of Thaha Darshan into Nepali politics. The poster and the first look of the movie looked so promising. Looking at this poster, I finally thought a movie is being made with so raw and authentic content to Nepali scenario but with its unpredictable release date, I'm afraid if the movie gets shelved or gets lost into oblivion. We have this plethora of personalities to explore which are such gems in the Nepali society which not only have done greater things but also made Nepal proud in international platforms. Wouldn't we want to see a movie based on the life of Ultra Trial and Skyrunner Mia Rai, a rejected Maoist recruit after the integration of Nepal army who comes from a poor family but later tackles all the obstacles and became the number one ultra runner of the world, also winning several races and the 2017 National Geographic Adventure of the Year. Mira Rai is just an example of what lies ahead. There are a large number of influential personalities in Nepal like Anuradha Koirala, Puspa Basnet, Vaikuntha Manandar, Hari Kharka, Paras Kharka and the list still goes on and on. Finally, I would like to say that we have many of our own local heroes with their own stories of struggles, success and failures which would not just only be an inspirational and thought-provoking journey for paying homage to these gems but also a greater way for our Nepali movie industry to become more diverse. So that's the video guys. This is the first part of the series why Nepali movies are lackluster and I'll come again with other parts on the series as well. Till then, meet you in the next video.